What's going on guys? Back here today. A little project for the Craigslist Civic. We are doing Skunk 2 intake manifold and the Skunk 2 Pro Series throttle body. One with the 70 millimeter throttle body on this one. As you guys can tell, the runners are almost completely straight. Super big flow going on there. So what we got to do to start with is because the opening for the throttle bot or for the intake manifold is only 66 mil, we are going to have to port out the intake manifold because the throttle body is 70 millimeter. So if y'all can't do math, that means we only, only got to take two mils out because it's two mil on each side, which will make four. So we are going to be good to go. Now, when we see you again, we will be etching and awing these lines in this manifold so we can get to grinding. All right, first things first. For those of you guys who are probably not going to have any uh, of that machine's die so we can do this awing, we're just gonna use a Sharpie marker. So we're just gonna go, and like I said, we're not taking off a whole lot. So I'm just gonna rub around here, paint this in. And like I said, we're only taking out two mils, so we really don't have to go too far up. And once we do that, so we're going to let this dry a little bit. And then when I come back, we'll scratch it. Alright, so next step is going to be pretty self explanatory here. All we're going to do is, we've got our gasket centered. I use two of the bolts that actually hold the throttle body to the manifold. Centered it up, pressed it down. All we're going to do is take something super fine and sharp. Any all work, I mean, you could probably get away with a, you know, a, a really small flathead screwdriver. Anything sharp. So, we're just going to grind. Keep around, keep around, make sure we get a nice pretty line here. Now of course this is why they tell you to do it with the throttle body on, it's because you get to this one spot here and we're going to have to improvise a little bit, but oh, that's not exactly the best line. But once we get to really grinding, we'll be able to get it and it won't be that big of a deal. But I think we get the idea here. Other than that, we are good to go. Alright, so let's take this off here real quick. Here really fast. And there you go. As you can see, we've got our line. Beautiful. So next time we see it. We'll be grinding. All right, guys, it's gonna be a little hard to understand me, but got our little simple grinding wheel. Bought these from Harbor Freight. It's a five-pack set. Came it's like five bucks. Uh, I should probably be using a tungsten carbide grinding bit, but I'm only taking about two millimeter off, so I think I'll be all right. Uh, I do have a dust mask on. That's why I do sound a little funny. But let's get into it.
All right. So it seems like I'm eating up my car butt or eating up my wheel. So it looks like we are going to probably have to come back at this with a uh, tungsten carbide bit. So they will be in the mail tomorrow, but uh, I won't be able to get back to making a video for a little while. So next time you see it, we'll be doing it with that. So what's going on guys, we're back here. You know, this is gonna be uh, day two on this grinding situation. I finally got the right bits in. So what we're doing, like I said before, we're going to be taking all up to that line and maybe just a little past the port maps, the throttle body. I mean, this intake manifold for this throttle body. Uh, I got these bits from Amazon. They are tungsten carbide. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Focus. Anyway, got a whole five piece set of them. Um, this shouldn't take any more than 10 minutes. Uh, I'm still learning how to do time lapse with my editing software, but I'm gonna grind and I'm gonna see how long it takes me to actually get this going. And then I'll cut it in and out and then we'll see what the finished product looks like. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna start with this graph, this bit. We're gonna give a little bit of a spray, some WD. That way it actually cuts and doesn't bite. And let's see what we can do here. Alright, so now we're going to fine tooth it with the polish wheel. sucker back on here and see what she looks like. It's a six mil Allen if anybody's wondering. And the moment of truth. And we're pretty golden, actually. Damn. That actually turned out way better than I was actually expecting. 
truth be told, there's a couple of valley spots, but that's no big deal. But there's no step up anywhere. Don't peed my airflow. Feels good all the way around. So, let's get a look at what we're looking at. Boom. You can see straight through. No step up. No lip. Straight through. It's a great success. Very nice. Jenkui. Yes. That is a Borat reference for all you kids that are not old enough. But it's turned out pretty good. So. With some tungsten carbide bits, uh, in about, I'd say it took overall about 15 minutes. A little bit of patience. Uh, this is my first manifold I've actually ported for the throttle body opening. Not the first time porting, but first time porting a manifold. Didn't turn out 100% the way I wanted it to, but it actually turned out the way it was supposed to. So that's really all I, I can't, I don't have any arguments. Practice makes perfect. Reason I'm making this video is because there's not a whole lot of them on YouTube. I want to help everybody out as much as I can. Um, and I know it's been a while since I posted. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for everybody that watches these videos. It means a lot to me. I don't have a lot of free time anymore. I do work 40, hour, 40 hours a week. Plus I do a bunch of other things. Um, uh, there's a lot of videos I haven't made and I've got to go over. I, I lowered the car and uh, I did a few other little things, um, but I'm going to be changing up my struts. Um, I'm going to make a video on that. I'm buying a turbo kit next week, so all the turbo stuff will be starting probably within the next month or two. Um, I'm still looking for a junkyard engine. Uh, maybe I'll bring you along for that one if I happen to find one. I always do take my camera with me to the junkyard whenever I do go. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So. Again, the Skunk 2 Pro Series with uh, the Alpha, Skunk 2 Alpha 70mm throttle. And one more look see. Boom. She's clean. She's Dunsky. Actually, very pleased on how it turned out to be actually 100% honest. I think it turned out better than I could have expected. Well, you know. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you liked what you saw, hit that thumbs up and hit that bell notification. And do me a favor, leave me a comment down in the uh, section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Let me, you know, just general ideas. What do you think I should do with the car? What do you think I should do as far as anything? General, you know, good, good discourse is always good for bringing new ideas to the, to the table. So... Until next time, peace.